When I first started watching Man City, it was because of him. El Mago, no? That's how they called him, you know? He was much of a leader. I could tell that everybody would respect him and, and follow him. He's so good. He's so good. Mateus, we're just going to take a look at some clips of uh, some Manchester City legends. If you can press play and tell us what you see in this one. Mm, yeah, yeah. Very good guy. The way he speeds up and leaves the defender behind is just... It was too good. Is he someone you watched when you were growing up? To be honest, a lot. More than... More than you... I mean, I watched a lot of videos from him on YouTube. I mean, I was a fan of him. I think maybe I would say... Uh, when I first started watching Man City, it was because of him, because I was very big fan of him since Barcelona. Um, he's just unbelievable. His strength, his speed, his technique. Do you see any similarities between Yaya and your game? I mean, he was so good. I mean, maybe characteristics, but uh, I mean, he proved himself so much and uh, I'm still starting my career here in City. I think he's a legend here, but I would say maybe the way he drives the ball forward, I would say maybe that. So can City bring up the century of goals tonight? It's Yaya Toure. He's a difficult man to stop. Is it possible to stop? What a wonderful goal! Century for City! Who were some of the, the players that you sort of based your game around when you were first first playing? I mean, I would see a lot of Kaká. I uh, loved Kaká very much. Honadinho is my idol. Yeah, in football, I mean, I admire. I still to this day watch a lot of videos from him. Those two, maybe, I, was gonna, I think it's like the, the ones that I watch the most. If you press play on the on the second one, we'll have a look at another City legend. And the, if you could tell us what you're watching in this video. El Mago, no? That's how they called him, yeah. The control. The ball was very... Every time it was very close to his feet. He's a slightly different player to Yaya. Are there any of those characteristics from, from David that you, I mean, you have? The, con the control that he has on the ball, it's very, it's very... It's beautiful to watch, actually. Did you watch a lot of... The city team from from the Yaya and David Silva yeah, era. I watched a lot. I remember the first the first uh, 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 Aguero goal. I watched that game. I was at home because uh, my stepdad, I call him dad, but my stepdad he's British. So when I lived in Brazil, I watched a lot of English football. Every weekend we would watch of English football in the mornings. Uh, so I mean, I watched a lot of games. I I can't think of one now, but I, I watched a lot of games. We've got one more clip from another City legend next as well, mm. a Brazilian as well. Is he someone you watched playing for the national team? Yes. What is it about Fernandinho that you admire? I mean, the, the balance that he would give the team, also leadership, he was much of a leader. I could tell that everybody would respect him and, and follow him. These, these tackles, <laughs> this is too good. Yeah, those tackles really got the Etihad going. Is that something you uh, enjoy as well? Yes, yes, because I, li I, I like to, en to enjoy defending as well, which is hard to do because most of the players don't like to do it. But when you have pleasure to do it, I mean, it's different. You can tell. Sterling, Sterling's still going. He's shot to the ground there. Fernandinho follows up. Fernandinho scores. Driven low from the outskirts of the area. Fernandinho makes it 4-0. And then finally, we've got our, our final City legend. If you want to click on that one and press play and tell us what you can see in this one. <laughs> he looks so easy. <laughs> He's so good. Both feet, 
control, composure. He sees everything before everyone. Before the ball gets in his seat, he already knows he's going to do it. Were you close to him in the matches on the pitch when you were facing him? Yes, I was. Uh, because we were playing midfield. I don't remember like the size I was playing uh, compared to him when in the games we faced each other. <laughs> this guy. Yeah, I mean. He was also someone that I watched a lot. I watch a lot of midfields. I like to watch videos of midfields uh, on YouTube and he was one that I watched as well. Is there any, any City midfielders that stick out in your mind as someone that you, you was, a, was an icon for you when you were learning the game? I mean, I wouldn't say when I was learning the game, but I mean, my favourite player, I think from the last six or seven years, De Bruyne. And I mean, he's, he's the player that I look, look up the most. I mean, I loved, I, I watched every single video of him on YouTube as well. And I mean, I, I, I really love him as a player. I mean, he, if I if I could tell like uh, uh, this is how I I wanted to be maybe it would be him. I, mean, I love the way he plays. I love his mentality. I love you know, and uh, maybe him outside that influenced me the most. So for the greatest City mid midfielders of the recent years, it'd be nice to add you to the list as well. Yes, this would be the fifth. Fantastic, yeah. Mateus. Thank you very much for your time, and again, welcome to the club. Thank you. Thank you very much.